Welcome to Universe Live. It's Tuesday, October 26th. I'm Ali Rulian. And I'm Harley Hunsaker. In less than two weeks, millions of kids in the U.S. could be eligible to roll up their sleeves for a COVID-19 vaccine. Harley Hunsaker is live on campus. Harley, how can we prepare for the unexpected arrival of winter? Yes, thanks, Blake. It feels like fall just got here, but there is so much snow in the mountains. Some people have had time to prepare for the snow and others haven't. But what does preparation look like and is it even necessary? I mean, it is only mid-October. Ah, the Salt Lake City Airport. It serves more than 26 million passengers a year, was recently renovated and is notorious for the long walks. It was an emotional day as two of the testimonies in the murder trial of former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin were shared in court. In the trial this morning, new footage was released showing George Floyd in the place where he used the counterfeit money. Let's face it, college is hard. Students sit in a lot of classrooms, write long papers, and study for hours. And as if that isn't hard enough, some students have to do that while also managing attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. Their excitement on night one was obvious and contagious, and it has carried them through the rest of the season. Johnson, Schmerkowski, and Siwa have yet to make the bottom two, and on last week's Halloween episode, they received the second perfect score of the season. Now, I may or may not be Team Amanda Klutz, but I would be lying if I said I wasn't rooting for this groundbreaking pair. Utah County Battle Guards had their last meeting of the season yesterday, and Emily, you had the opportunity to attend. Although empty right now, it's not uncommon to find these stands filled with BYU hockey fans. But due to a recent decision made by BYU, those fans and the team may no longer exist. Ooh, I wish we had time to look at every single one of these, but for the sake of time, I'll just show you a few of my favorites, starting with this one. I have so many questions. How did the dog jump that high? Is he standing on something? Did he know what he was doing? Because this is a absolute genius photo bomb, and that's a photo they're gonna treasure for the rest of their lives. Have professors become less lenient in handling student absences due to COVID-related issues? Joseph Andreessen is in Provo asking just that question. Aro says they have to deny about five to 10 ID photos a week due to a student not following the dress and grooming standards. So if it's time to renew your ID photo, review the standards and then submit your photo online. You know it and you love it, maybe. It's Facebook. For about 15 years, Facebook has played an integral role in all of our lives. It was one of the first successful social media platforms at connecting people together from all around the world. However, the familiar Facebook might not be so familiar after a potential name change. If you thought the mail took too long now, it's about to take even longer. Postmaster General Louis DeJoy announces a new 10-year plan for the post office Tuesday. Another way to reduce greenhouse gas emissions is by using a yard waste only garbage can so that the yard waste can be composted. Now, I guess that's not great news for Tom Holland's Peter Parker because he's got a lot of villains to fight, but let's see what the fans are saying. At Bohemian Rhapsody says, point of view, you're dating Spider-Man. With side-by-side -side pictures of all of Peter Parker's love interests falling to their doom, I personally am not prepared to see this happen again with Zendaya. The pandemic created financial hardships for some, but led to an unexpected boom for others. Newsline reporter Amy Griffin tells us about a local business that finds being in hot water is a good thing. Amy? Christmas trees are a symbol of all things Christmas. Presents, family, traditions. But to the Festival of Trees and Primary Children's Hospital, Christmas trees aren't just a decoration. At least eight people are dead, including teenagers, one as young as 14 years old. And many more are injured after a crowd rushed the stage at the Astroworld Festival during rapper Travis Scott's show. What do you think of those vintage uniforms, ladies? I like them. I like how BYU's been changing it up a little bit. Me too. It's fun. It gives the fans something to look forward to. Definitely. Well, thank you for joining us today for Universe Live. So the power went out too? The power was broken and it didn't stay on. Obviously, it's going to be an experience to remember. Guests are responsible for their own travel to and from Chicago. Booking opens December 7th at 12 o'clock p.m. Mountain Standard Time and prices start at $25. So keep the change, you filthy animal. Another thing you can do to reduce carbon emissions is ride a bike. And although I am not very good at it, who knows? Maybe it's something I'll pick up. Reporting for Universe Live in Provo, I'm Harley Huntsaker.